I want to thank today's sponsor, Holga. If you're looking to protect your privacy while also improving your credit, this is definitely for you. Hogo was the first gamified privacy application that makes it easy to regain control of your online privacy and stop spam at its source. Here's how it works. Every time you make a smart move, like requesting the removal of data brokers websites or addressing negative credit marks, you earn Hogo coins right through the application. And you can redeem these coins for gift cards like Amazon, Best Buy, and even Taco Bell. With Hogo, you can easily swipe away your personal information from shady data broker websites, which is the concept we're talking about today. And imagine being able to see exactly what these sites are selling about you and to just swipe and poof, they're gone. Hogo's experts can be used in order to remove that information for you on your behalf. Got a blemish in your credit report, like a late payment or something, no problem. With Hogo, you can take action on negative credit items in just one tap, one tap on the app. It's as simple as pushing a button to dispute issues directly within the application. Hogo also creates custom plans to help you boost your credit score with users reporting an average of 60 points within the first month. Imagine getting rewarded for doing the things that help you protect your privacy and improve your credit score. It's like getting a little something for current you while future you achieves your financial goals. Ready to start to earn rewards? Download the Hogo app today using the link in the video description section, or you can scan the QR code to grab your free trial of Hogo. And trust me, it's a game changer. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we're normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today's topic is going to be about data brokers. Your data is being sold by these individuals, these data brokers, and how to protect yourself against this online threat. I mean, that's what we all want to do, right? As things are proliferating, as it concerns our digital connectivity all around the world, we're able to jump online and immediately message individuals, email and communicate across all of the world wide webs. But the thing about it is that we also want to be protected from the threats that are out there, all of those cyber threats. And one of those threats that we'll be discussing today are data brokers. So let's start with a question. Start with a little bit of a provocative question. Have you ever wondered why you oddly get specific ads while browsing the internet? Like you search for a gift, say for instance, it's a vehicle or something that you want to give for somebody. And suddenly you're being bombarded with ads and ads and ads related to that product. I mean, no matter what social media product that you go on, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you're seeing these, these ads coming more and more to your websites, right? Well, these are where data brokers come in. Data brokers are companies that collect your personal information and sell it to others, including advertisers, insurance companies, and even for political campaigns. This industry is worth billions of dollars and chances are you've never heard of them and you've never heard of the work that they do. I mean, they aren't making the Fortune 500 top organizations in the United States, but they are very, very profitable in selling your data. So then the next question that it begs is that what do data brokers actually know about you? Every time you browse a website, sign up for a service, or just walk around with your location on applications enabled, you leave behind little bits of information, little bits of data that we call digital breadcrumbs. These can be simple things like your name, your location, um, your purchase history, but it also can go even deeper than that. Data brokers collect everything. I mean, it can get even as deep as your age, health information, right? What kind of car you drive and even your political beliefs, because most of this information is public data is public information because you provide it to those sites. You provide it to those places online and it doesn't stop there again. Like I said, it gets even deeper. They can also track where you go in the real world and what websites you visit online. You know, it can get very deep very quickly, but you want to know more information about this. Let's dig even deeper on this subject. So how can they collect your information? How can data brokers collect your information? So the thing is that it's not as complicated as you really think. First off, uh, we give much of this information. As I said before, we give much of this information out where we sign up for accounts. We offer information for surveys. We offer information up very willingly, even on our different profiles, whether LinkedIn or Facebook, we're just giving this information out there. For instance, every time you clicked on a website, except cookies, which I'm sure many of you see this very often, you're often agreeing to sharing your browser data to that website. 
This brings us to a critical point. Most of us are trading privacy for convenience. We're giving up so much more information in order to gain access to all these applications and systems online. Free apps and websites need to make money and somehow, in many cases, they do this by selling your data to other organizations for a profit. Like I mentioned before, multi-billion dollar industry is these data brokers or this data broker industry. So why is selling your data something that's dangerous? You might be thinking, okay, I'm targeted with these ads. It's no big deal. They know my name. They know my email address. What can they do with that information? But the truth is, it's much more than just annoying. The same data that's used to sell you a new pair of sneakers is the same data that's used for other harmful means. Insurance companies, right, for example, can use this information to determine how risky you might be as a customer. You know, raising your premiums uh, if they think that your lifestyle is too risky or if you have pre-existing health conditions. And a lot of times they get that information from what you provide to these websites. And in some cases, also governments and law enforcement agencies have bought location data from data brokers without even a warrant. Right. So local authorities or or government authorities can access your information based upon what they get from these data broker organizations. So really, I've given you all the bad news. I've given you how harmful it is, what information they're collecting, how they're profiting off of you. But let's get into how to protect yourself against these particular threats. So what can you do to protect yourself? Unfortunately, the system is stacked against you. Right. There are many things that are taking your information, but these are a few things that you can do. One is that you can use privacy focused web browsers like Firefox or Brave. You know, you can check out what these settings are by going on Google or ChatGPT, understanding what settings can help you to be able to be more protected using those particular web browsers. Like I mentioned, Firefox and Brave are recommended ones that are very privacy focused. Number two, turn off tracking on your devices, especially on mobile applications, whether you're using Mac OS or whether you're using Android, there are settings that can turn off tracking within those devices that you use on a daily basis. Number three, be mindful of the permissions you give to the applications and websites that you normally visit. Just because it says accept cookies doesn't mean you have to click on accept cookies because you are giving them those cookies, right? Those digital breadcrumbs that I mentioned earlier when you click on that particular setting. Number four, opt out of data collection where possible. Though this is often easier said than done, just because a website says, give us this information in order to access our systems, you don't always have to give that information. You can bypass that or just choose to not, or choose to go with an alternative that does not require you to provide a lot of this personal information. And number five is utilizing services and applications like the one that I mentioned earlier in this video, which is the sponsor, Hogo. They have personal data removal requests that they have within their application, which can do this for you. You don't have to go from site to site to site to request to move your data, but Hogo's application does this automatically for you when you sign up for the service. More information down there in the description section on what Hogo can do in order to help you protect against data brokers. So the most important thing to say is to stay aware and to stay educated. The more you know, the better you can protect yourself against this invasive industry of data brokers. So in summary, data brokers operate a multi-billion dollar industry built on selling your personal information for gain. It's an industry that thrives within the shadows of the internet with little oversight and affects almost every aspect of your life because of the data that you're giving up. And speaking of privacy, don't forget to check out Hogo that I mentioned in the description section to gain more information about how to protect yourself against data brokers utilizing their application and utilizing their tools and services. Until next time, you don't have to wonder about how to protect yourself against this secret shadowy entity, but rather data brokers can be defeated. They can be fought against by you and your vigilance. And hopefully this video helped to alleviate one of your struggles about understanding how to be more safe and more protected while online. Again, this is Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity because, you know, things can be difficult out here as it concerns the cyber attack. So come back, subscribe for more information on this type of information, like the video, and hopefully you'll come back for more and more of this type of content. Okay, thanks.